And here we are at the Forsaken Rear Guard. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. <laughs> Alright, let's turn in this quest to Admiral Hatchet. What an interesting name. She's carrying two hatchets. For some reason, I don't think that's a real name. <clears throat> <laughs> this fiasco may go down as one of the biggest embarrassments in the history of naval warfare. How did this happen? Drunk happened. That's how. Uh-oh, was somebody drinking on the job? We may not have to live down the shame of this defeat. The war chief will likely have us all executed instead. I'll be damned if we don't go down without a fight. Although the whole beachhead is overrun by Bloodfang Worgen, there may still be hope. I want you to accompany one of my sea pups to the beachhead, directly west of here, and recover our supplies. Return to me when the pup can carry no more. Alright. What about you, Mr. or Lord Torok? Speak, friend. It's the goblin's fault, undead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're the one who was drunk. You see, we set off for Silver Pine from Bilgewater Harbor over in Azara. Huge mistake that was. Never has such a den of inequity and sin existed in our great empire. Those damnable goblins fueled every of our vice and set us off to sail with barrels full of ale. Nice poetry. Yeah. The shame of it leaves a mark greater than any scar. Honor must be restored. Kill the bloodfang worgen that ambushed us. They're scavenging the wreckage to the southwest. Go forth to victory. For being drunk, he has a pretty acute sense of direction. Hey, another apothecary. Fantastic. Worm crud. A giant mutant bush chicken. What is it? Have you seen the huge lumbering Ettons roaming the forests? Cursed things came from Gilneas. Now they wander the land searching for their next juicy meal. We've managed to subjugate and utilize some of them to haul our wagons, but the others... Well, they must be killed. Unfortunately, we can't spare any soldiers to do the job. That's where you come in, rogue. I have a plan, but it's going to require some materials. Head out into the forests around this base and collect diseased beast organs. Alright. Well, apparently all kinds of beasts are diseased around here with their gross diseased organs. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Just not so bad. Maybe a little heavy, but me okay. Maybe Captain carry one box too? This giving me a hernia. Captain, what is hernia? Me no sign up for this. Wait. Yes, me did sign up for this. Please kill me. Oh, one day, little buddy. One day, and it seems you're really interested in those boxes. Huh. Alright. Clipping issues ahoy.
Okay, Admiral Hatchet, I've returned with your pup. Uh, he requests he requested that I kill him, so um, maybe you should oblige him. I don't know. Look, Within these crates are steel thunder. With our weaponry returned, we might have a chance to redeem ourselves. Ah, uh, yeah, new vest. Where to put? They've fallen. Help! <laughs> Oof. Good night. Goodbye. Luktar. Looks as if you really gave those wargan a beating, and in the process lifted the shame haze they cast over us. Perhaps the sea dogs will quit drinking now. Who am I kidding? Ha! Huh. Indeed. Vengeance is all-consuming, Rezotis. Our third ship sank off the coast of the skittering dark northwest of here. The men that made it off that boat were either captured or killed by the skitterweb spiders of the region. For that, the spiders must die, all of them. Travel to the skittering dark and crush those insects. But be on the lookout for their matriarch. Perhaps if we find her, we can end this menace forever. Kill 12 skitterweb spiders. Alright, Hatchet, what have you got for me? Some would say that we are lucky to be alive. Those people would be idiots. At least, if we, at least had we died, we would have not had to face the war chief's wrath. Alas, what's done is done. Now we must attempt to regain our lost honor. The third ship uh, in our fleet sank off the coast of the Skittering Dark, northwest of here. Those that made it to shore quickly found themselves swarmed by the giant spiders of the area and encased in webbing. So basically, another quest to go along with uh, what's his face next to him. <laughs> if there are survivors, we must free them. Go to the Skittering Dark. Go forth to Torok. There we go. All right, Apothecary, I've done your quest. Speak Gone some gross guts for you. I mean, amazing, delicious, diseased guts. Excellent. Now to prepare the meal. Take this cage, rogue. I've placed inside it one of my own mutant bush chickens, with a few slight modifications. Within the butt of this bush chicken is a stick of dynamite laced with gunk and from the diseased organs that you brought me. Take the cage out to the surrounding forest and locate the wandering forest Eton. Release the chicken and sit back as my masterwork does its job. The ensuing explosion should be sufficient to kill the Eton or greatly weaken it, allowing you to finish it off. Alright, we hit level 14 and obtained the ability Crimson Vial. Uh, it'll be... It's just, uh, takes 30 energy, restores 30% of our health over 6 seconds. It's pretty useful for survival and soloing stuff, so we'll definitely be making use of that in our adventure. Um, let's see, actually, the ends are just down here, so let's do this quest first, and then we'll do the, uh, the other quests for the ships. Where are those at in? Oh yeah, I totally forgot to equip my uh my chest piece. Derp. So any of these swords good? No. Throw this belt on, may as well. Alright, oh there's Netton right there. Let's see if we can find one without enemies near it. That would be ideal, just to save time. Oh, he's coming back, so we'll, we'll take care of him. So then we just, just target him and use the, uh, the item. Yep. He goes, and then he takes it. And he puts it in his little mouth, or his big mouth. And it does a lot of damage to him, allowing us to... Swoop in and easily just stab his feet a couple times and kill him. Fantastic. Alright, let's go turn this in. What now? He laughs maniacally. I'm not going to try to do an evil laugh for that. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt? An Etten is no match for science. For science. Here you have air quotes, bear stakes. 
Which just restores some health. Pretty useless. So we have to be out of combat. So. Alright. Let's go investigate the, uh, the spiders over yonder. Oh, look at this. Somebody has kindly killed a bunch of creatures and then looted them so that I may skin them. It's always nice to come across this. Because it's just basically free, uh, free loot. Oh, uh, apparently we also got Ambush, which I was I did not notice before. Ambush is basically just a really powerful ability you can use only from stealth, um, but it does a lot of damage and generates two combo points, so that'll be pretty useful. Um, anything else special? Not really, but uh, take a look at these spiders. They're pretty grody. They're like bone spiders. Let's see if I can just get close enough to make him turn, but not aggro onto me. Yeah, it's gross. Okay. Now we have to kill 12 of them. Oh, hey, this one isn't buggy. The root of this evil it must be found and destroyed. The Skitterweb Matriarch must be nearby. No doubt hiding in the nearby cave. Thank you. Oh, look at that. 100 quests completed. The Skitterweb Matriarch is nearby. You can put an end to the Skitterweb Menace by killing her. Find the Brood Mother at the end of the cave in the Skittering Dark and destroy her. I accept. But first, we must rescue some more sea dogs. Into the cave we go, along with all of our sea dogs. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think we can get to the back of the cave just by going through here. Looks like somebody's already been through here, so we're not going to encounter really any resistance. However, that means that the matriarch is probably already going to be dead, which is kind of unfortunate. But uh, well, that's okay, we can, we can wait. Actually, is this the person just up here? Because if so, then we might be able to, uh, yep. We just need to hustle in there. Come on! No! God dang it. Oh well, whatever. I'll just have to wait a couple minutes for it to respawn. So, uh, I'll cut to that. Okay, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. The Matriarch has respawned. And we're gonna take her out. Once and for all. No summoning spiderlings for you. Okay, now let's make our way back to town. Or at least back to the outpost, I guess, is more accurate. Behold, I have returned, burying sea dog survivors and slaying the matriarch. Speak, friend. You rescued our orcs and killed the skitterweb matriarch? 
We owe you a great debt of gratitude. Great debt of gratitude. You've saved us all from certain execution. I'm sure we can rouse these drunken idiots now. Get some sweet bracers. Drunken style bracers. Just have some stamina on them. I'll take it. More health is always a good thing. Loktar. Once the ale wears off, my orcs will be ready. Indeed they will be. She hands us an envelope, sealed with the mark of the horde. This is your commendation letter. It's the least I could get do for you given the circumstances. Return to L Lady Sylvanas Windrunner with the letter and inform her of our status. Let her know that we will be ready to march on her command. Goodbye. You are an excellent soldier. Northeast, lad, to Forsaken High Command. Alright, well, I think that's going to be it for an episode today, guys. Uh, a lot of walking and grinding in this episode, so hopefully it wasn't too bad, but, uh, all that being said, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.